So, you're having problems with the seal piece mission. Well, don't worry, because I got four quick solutions that'll tie your problem up tighter than the pants that those hip young folk keep wearing. Without further ado, let's get it on, bang a gong. Are you just a simple kind of guy looking for a challenge? Then who boy have I got a challenge for you? Method 1 is simple enough to understand. All you gotta do is pump each guard full of so much eco that they'll sort their plastics into three different types and only wash out with Whole Foods by the time you're done with them. When the carrier goes up, move on to the next one and repeat the process. Now, this might not sound that difficult, but believe me when I say, it's really freaking difficult. Completing the mission with this method is about as effective as cutting an apple with a butter knife. Sure, you can do it, but it's really freaking annoying to do. Now, my guess is, if you're watching this, you probably have tried this method to no avail, but just to humor you, I'll run you through how to get it done. Step number one, look behind you. And this might come as a shock to you, but Crimson Guards are actually approaching you from both sides. So, just turn around, line up their fire, and shoot them down. Without moving the camera, of course. Now I know what you're thinking. How am I supposed to hit something if I can't see where it is? You just gotta have faith in your auto aim feature. Step two, switch guns. So, yeah. Step three, try your hardest not to die. Seriously. But say you get a little carried away while going straight up Rambo on the guards. What if you run out of ammo? Well, to that I offer two solutions. Solution number one, don't be a trigger happy idiot. Solution number two, grind at the beginning of the stage. So there you go, that's how you complete the mission the way it was intended to be completed. But seriously though, who has time for that? You're a busy guy, you got things to do, places to be, you don't have time to shoot down wave after wave of Crimson Guard. No, a guy like you likes to get things done on the fly, or should I say, the hover. Bored? Because that's what you're going to be using for this method. There's only one thing to keep in mind when executing this strategy, and that is to go. If you're not going, you're doing it wrong. If you stop for even one second, the Crimson Guard will be all over you like a bunch of cuckoos on an overconfident and naive hero of time. It sort of goes without saying, but this method requires a lot of skill with the hoverboard, and I'm not talking skills in the normal sense, I'm talking extreme Tony Hawk pro skater super legit skill. So if the hoverboard isn't really your cup of tea, obviously neither will this method. Alright, good, moving on. Method... <coughs> wait, sorry. Alright, so you're out of eco, you're out of patience, and you're just so done with this mission right now. What advice do I have to offer? Punch out. No, not that. But seriously, it's about as literal as it gets. Just punch your way through the KG and random civilians until you reach safety. I'd love to say I could offer some super cool advice to this, but hey, that's uh, just about it. it. Totally works, so yeah. Guess I'll just speed the rest of this up and play some ridiculous background music over it. Well, there you go. Hopefully you liked this video, or at the very least it was of some help to you. If not, meh. Now I know what you're thinking. You said there'd be four methods, but there are only three. Don't worry, I passed first grade. There are actually four methods, but you can catch that other one, BAM, on my Let's Play. Which is in like, I don't know, like the first couple of minutes or so. Yes, it's a marketing trap, but hey, at least I'm not hiding it from you. But seriously, it's really cool, and you should probably check it out. A lot of people don't know about it. Anyways, with that said, hope you liked the video, and that's about it. See ya!